So today we are talking about scatter plots. Now, scatter plots are a way of comparing two different kinds of numbers and seeing if there's a relationship between those two sets of numbers. For example, in this situation, we've got an ice cream shop that wants to know if there's an association between outside temperature and number of customers. So they collect data over several days, and that's what this table is. We've got temperature customers, and each row in this table represents one day's worth of data. All right. So what we can do with this is take each row and plot it as a point on a scatter plot. And that's what I've done over here. So I've taken all this data, plotted them as points on this scatter plot. We've got temperature and customers. Now, to see if there's an association, what we need to do is see if we can draw a trend line for this data. Now, a trend line is a way of kind of almost imagine replacing these points with something a little more user friendly. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to imagine, or actually maybe even actually just draw an outline around all my points. That gives me something a little bit easier to work with. And your trend line is going to be a line that goes right through kind of the center of that blob you could think of. All right. So what I'm going to try and do is kind of put my line so that it goes right through the middle of it. And ideally, half the points would be above, half the points are below. But we're not going to have to count them and do it that accurately. But kind of estimate where it would go through kind of the middle of all those points. All right. And what this represents is kind of the average of all those points. All right. So once we've done that, we can look at this line and say, OK, this line is going up and to the right. So it has a positive slope. So there's a positive association. What that means is, as the temperature increases, the number of customers also increases because it has a positive association. All right. I've got a second example to show you that's a little bit different than that one. So again, we're working with scatter plots, but this time a student wants to know if there's an association between study time and how they did on the spelling test. So the student surveyed several students in her class, and here's the data in the table. We've got study time and the number of words they got wrong on the spelling test. And each row represents a student. For example, the first student didn't study at all, but they got 16 questions wrong. And the second student did, studied for two minutes and got 20 wrong. All right. And then what we can do, again, is take this data and plot it in a scatter plot over here. Now, to see if there's an association, just like last time, we're going to see if we can draw a trend line. So just like last time, I'm going to try and put like an outline around the points. So it's a little bit easier for me to imagine where that trend line is going to go. And notice how much easier it is to see where the trend line is going to go once I kind of outlined all the points. All right. So then with my straight edge, that looks pretty good. About right there. See how about half the points are above and half are below where my line is going to be? All right. So that's not bad. So this is going to be my trend line for the data. So this is going to represent the average of our results. Now what does it tell me? Well, this line has a negative slope. It's going down. So there is a negative association, meaning as study time increases, the number of words wrong decreases. It's going down. All right. So notice the difference between the two situations here. Let's see if I can get them both in here. All right. Whereas in the ice cream shop, there was a positive association, meaning as temperature increased, customers increased. The spelling test data had a negative association, meaning as study time increased, number of words wrong went down. All right. And that's how you read a scatter plot. And that's how you use that trend line to kind of look at and make sense of that data. All right, so hopefully this video helped you. If it did, make sure you hit that like button. Also hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out. I hope this was useful, and I hope to see you next time.